Papa just went and got some hay. If you watch our channel long, you know that we've got cattle, goats, pigs, and other things. Our cattle and our goats both uh, use hay. We're trying to build silvo pasture for our Dexter cattle, but it's not built up yet. So while we're building this up and using what's there, um, uh, we've got to supplement with some uh, hay. We just went and got this. Uh, we're building it up for the winter. Uh, pretty much over the summer, we haven't had to feed any supplemental hay, uh, but we're uh, going ahead and gathering this up for the winter time while the prices are better. Prices are better right now than they are in the winter time. And the fellow we're getting this from, uh, we got 18 bales from last year, which don't go quite as well as these. Uh, these are fresh from this year, but cattle do eat them, uh, especially the Irish Dexter. The Irish Dexter uh, are fine with weeds and anything, they just eat it any old thing. They'll forage around in the center of it and knock that stuff that's on the outside out that's uh, not really great uh, for eating for them. Uh, they'll knock all that off and then they'll just get in the inside and eat it. Even so, we've got this five bale and five more bale, uh, 10 bale that's been baled this year and 18 from last year. And they're smaller bales, which are much easier for us to handle with our uh, mid-range tractor. Uh, it's not a large tractor, it's not a small tractor. We've had some of the very large bales before and Papa says that when the backhoe is not on this tractor right here, uh, then it kind of rocks, especially if you hit a bump. So um, he likes the smaller bale. Uh, we have to do it a little bit more often. Sometimes we go ahead and give two bale at a time and two bale may last a week uh, in the winter time and then with uh, just a little bit of grain that we're supplementing with as well. But uh, we're gathering this up. We'll have 28 bale, and he said he's going to bail one more time this year. Maybe we'll get 10 more bale then as well. Uh, that'll be about 38 bale, and we'll probably look for another source just so we make sure we have plenty for uh, the winter time for both the you know the goats that have uh, hay all the time, uh, in addition to their forage and the grain, and the cattle who pretty much subsist on the hay during the winter time. So uh, we give them a little bit of grain, a little bit more grain than we do uh, in the rest of the year in the winter time but uh, still we uh, I don't give them a lot of grain they're about 90% I would say or more even in the winter time grass fed uh, or forage fed hay fed uh, but anyway uh, I might have some more to say about this you can see these bales over here they look a little bit better than these other bales uh, but uh, we have this and it does work for us and they were really cheap this is why we use this but if you like things like this and uh, the systems that we have on our homestead about how we feed our animals and how we uh, try to make it work this is temporary hopefully we will not always need the hay uh, but this is a process and we want you uh, to understand the process that if you're getting started on your homestead that it's not going to be overnight that uh, you've got to put your systems in place where you can feed your animals if you have livestock uh, from your own place. So uh, right now we can't, uh, but ultimately our goal is to be able to uh, feed our animals and our livestock from our own place without extra hay or grain or anything else. Uh, and, but right now this is what we're doing. So uh, between the silvo pasture and uh, the uh, things that we're planting, then uh, maybe we'll be able to do that one day. Like things like this, like and subscribe, hit that notification bell, select all, uh, so you never miss a notification. Follow our page and check out our live stream on Sunday night with Rue and I. Uh, we'd love to have you at that as well. Uh, it's at 8 p.m. Central Time. Thanks.